Hey friends, a couple months ago, I made a birthday cake for an actor on the set of Dynasty. Now they never told me who the actor was. All I was told was this person likes chess and make it super whimsical and it came out so rad. So I'm gonna remake it for you guys today. Let's make American style chocolate buttercream. American buttercream is just like butter, sugar, and cocoa. It's really easy to make. I don't use it often, but it's got that like nostalgia, like my grandma made my cake kind of feel. But there's a process to make it so that it's lump free. So the first thing we're gonna do is sift our cocoa powder. Oh, hey Joshua, I was just coming in from getting a bagel. I was wondering if there's any butter in you. Oh my God. <laughs> don't make fun of my butter. I need a lot, cause I've got a three tiered cake to make here. So when you have a piece of cake, you're, Literally eating. Yeah, we don't talk about it. I bought a stick of butter. Well, if you think about the grocery <laughs> store cakes, a lot of those they don't even use butter. They use the bucket icing that's just like shortening. So this is a nicer way, more delicious way. But this recipe is available on you've been deserted.com or I'll put it down below. And then I'm gonna melt down some butter and hydrate my cocoa powder. Oh, I'm all cocoaed. Ooh. Let's put this back in the bowl. Now we're gonna make a paste. I gotta melt this real quick. Hey guys, how's it going? How, what's new? Just spilled some butter. We went to a party last night. And the dessert, the Kranzakaka was a hit. Did people really talk about it and ask questions about it? Everybody was afraid of it. And then somebody just went over and grabbed a donut off of there. And then everybody was like, oh. And then as we were leaving, people were like, this is really good. Like, it's kind of what I do for a living, so. Trust me. Oh, you know, I just realized that was supposed to be two sticks. <laughs> yeah, you love how it's my recipe, but I'm not even following it. Like it's, I just did it in my head. <laughs> we'll just be here. Okay, do your job, Joshua, geez. Is that the kind of stuff that you can put on your on your skin to uh, to make it, like the wrinkles go away? Butter? Cocoa butter. Yeah. This isn't cocoa butter though. This is butter butter it's and cocoa butter. It's literally cocoa butter. <laughs> Shut up. This is how you could really prank someone, is mix something like this up and go, hey, taste this new chocolate, whatever that I made, and it's just a mouthful of cocoa powder with no sugar. I'd always tell my little sister, but I'd be like, hey, Casey, come taste this. She'd put a, Aah. That was earwax. I'm the middle <laughs> child. Oh, gross. No, I didn't do that. All right, we're gonna sift our powdered sugar as well. All right, now we're gonna cream our butter. This is at room temperature, but the studio is a little cold, so it's a little tight, so it may take a little bit longer to smooth out. Everyone in the hot tub. Yay! Whee! Woo! Look at that. Ah! Get it. Yes. The one guy hanging out on top. I'm gonna get him, watch. I wonder how my torch got gold all over it. James is like two dollars at three dollars. Just putting it in my spreadsheet. You must cream it when the butter's in the bowl. You must cream it. Cream it good. We're gonna add our cocoa paste. Ooh, I'm all messy today. I can't get anything on my Beetlejuice shirt. What is that shirt? Beetlejuice? Do we not know what Beetlejuice is? The movie with like Michael Kate and Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, but I don't get what that has to do with the shirt. It That's says Beetlejuice on it. It's the Gina Davis monster. When she goes like, Argh. All right, I'm gonna add my pinch of salt and my vanilla. James, you missed this uh, the other day, but somebody had asked a question on the website where the recipe is for the squeeze bottle of vanilla. I'm like, no, it's, <laughs> it's vanilla that I just put, I don't make vanilla, I just put it in a squeeze bottle. So maybe this could be our first product. Although vanilla is really expensive right now, so this bottle of vanilla would probably cost $200. Oh, I didn't have told James that. I'm adding it to the spreadsheet. I didn't put that much in there. Brandon, we're gonna have to pay you in one less stick of gum a month. Aww. Now we're gonna add our powdered sugar. I always use really nice cocoa when I'm making buttercream. That's not very expensive, James. Oh my God, it smells so good. Get a little taste. That's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna put our cake together. Yum! I got a six inch chocolate cake here. I'm gonna give him a haircut. I'm gonna karate chop it. <laughs> Don't let it land on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and hit me with the next one, Joshua. You're on my really expensive iPad, so uh, I'll mail it to you. Be sure to use two stamps. Yeah, I want to know if you guys uh, use our recipes because lots of people go to the website, I see it. Let me know what you think because you guys have found lots of mistakes. It's my bad, so I appreciate it. I always say thank you and I go fix it. They're like, you say add vanilla here, but there's no vanilla in the ingredients. I'm like, oh, sorry. I'm not good at computers. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my crumbs and we're gonna fill this with the chocolate buttercream that I made before. Ooh. You know what I'm starting to gather about this cake? What's that? It's a square shape. I told you yesterday this is a paneled cake, and I told you- And you know what we do with square shaped cakes? Panel them. And I told you that the other two are already done, so all we have to do is this one. You know what Brandon does when we panel cakes? Falls asleep. Yes, wants to quit his job. The gum is no longer worth it. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what the best gum was growing up was Big League Chew. It's I like that so gum. good I wanted to swallow it. You know sometimes when I'm feeling nostalgic, I literally will just go by the plain pink bubblicious gum gum nah, 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 and blow bubbles and get it all in my beard. It's so much fun. I haven't blown a bubble since I've owned a beard. Where'd you where'd you buy yours rear beard at? Puberty store. <laughs> I just realized this cake is gonna be really tall. So once I let it cool, I yeah, I'll probably cut some of this off. Good lord. All right, to the cooler. She's the tall baby. Can't get come on, get off of there. Whoo! More garbage cake for Brandon's breakfast. I think we should start marketing sliced chocolate bread. Dude, we can cut that into fours and make a tiny cake. for a crumb coat. Can we talk about how easy you make icing a cake look? When I try to do it, I'm like, all right, this is easy. Cause you're always icing cake. It's just awkward. It's like cutting your own hair in the mirror. When I was real broke in my 20s, that's what I did all the time. What's the technique on icing a cake? It's always a sideways eight or the infinity symbol. What? People make up mistakes cause they pull up like this and look, see? <gasps> Gross, you have to always go like, like this. Always pull away like that. So just so you know, you were talking about you'd like to learn snowboarding when you moved to Denver. Yeah. That motion that you're doing with the knife is exactly what you want to do on snowboarding. Oh my God, I'll be so rad at it. And this mountain has like a perfect crumb coat afterward. <laughs> 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 the one thing I've never done, because I grew up on the Gulf Coast, but I did go to school in Rhode Island. So I've seen lots of snow, but I've never made a snowman. <laughs> Ever, Aww. not once. Like when I was in culinary school, yeah. we're sitting in class and we take notes first and then we bake, so we're doing whatever and it starts snowing. I'd never seen snow. And so I was like looking out the window and I remember my chef goes, Mr. Russell, is there something out there? The girl that was sitting behind me and she goes, oh chef, he's never seen snow. And he goes, everyone put your pins down. We're going outside and all these kids are like, <laughs> oh. So I'm all like, <laughs> but I'll tell you this, by the end of that season, I was so sick of the snow in New England because it gets really dirty and it piles up and it doesn't go away. All right, back in the cooler, let this firm up completely, and then we'll do the final coat. Put this in the cooler and let it cool firm up, and then we'll trim it and final coat. Final coat time. She's super firm. Now that it's cold out in the winter, I put on a sweatshirt and then I put on my coat, but when I put on the coat, I go, final coat time. <laughs> and weirdly, in between each time, I, I go stand in my freezer. To firm up. Yeah, just to firm up a little. What happens if you have a wedding outside in a warm place and you have a buttercream cake? You'd, I just tell brides that I, the cake has to be inside somewhere. Because <laughs> if you have a space, you gotta have bathrooms or whatnot. <clears throat> and it's then in the bathroom. There's ways to do it. I mean, you sometimes you have to make buttercream with all shortening. I know that's gross, but you do. Or it's one of those things where you deliver the cake just like right before. So I turn brides away because I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. And the cake is going to melt. And they're like, oh, I want you to make it. I'm like, I can't, it's just gonna melt. Ah, this cake's delicious, but there's all these bees in it. We are gonna call this the final coat. I'm gonna let it get completely firm. I'm gonna come back and probably zhuzh it a little bit, like two or three more times and get it perfectly square and then we'll panel it. But it needs to firm up, because she's soft. So the cake is all tightened up. It's in the cooler. I'm gonna start by rolling out my panels and then we'll bring the cake out so it stays cold the whole time. And Brandon is gonna freak out during this whole process because he hates it. I. <laughs> You hate it. I do hate it. All right, so I needed a little bit of a gray fondant in here. We're gonna kind of go for this like uh, marbly look, but then we'll kind of turn it into geode and then we'll put the chess pieces. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like a broken chess set. I don't play chess, I don't know. What do you call it? Board. Chess board. You'll see. So we're just gonna twist these together, knead it just a little bit, and then I'm gonna roll it out so it's all marbly. Hey guys, have I ever told you that I'm really good at chess? Didn't know that. I, no, I'm like like world champion good. I, I went to a boarding school. Uh, I was an orphan, and uh, the janitor actually taught me to play down in the basement. Did you by chance get addicted to vitamins? It used to like make me see stuff, and for some reason that made me better at chess too. Have you 
Seen the Queen's Gambit? No, no, it's on my list. Don't yell at me. Listen, I know everyone watched it during the pandemic. I did not, but it is literally in my queue to watch. What was it called? I've never seen it either. I'm just telling you my life story. <laughs> the Queen's Gambit. <laughs> Snow! Snow! That looks like marble. I literally just said that was the point of this. <laughs> Comment below and tell us what you're watching these days other than You've Been Deserted. That awesome series on YouTube. There's just so much to watch. I know, but this show's the best. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna make chess pieces out of white chocolate. I ordered these little silicone molds off of Etsy. I'll put the link below. I don't know what any of these things are. I know that this is the king and that's probably the queen. That is the queen, yeah. What, this is a castle? That is the rook. Who's this? A bishop. Hold on, I have a little a little guy. Who's this guy, hold on. Do you have your horsey? No, we're gonna make the horse. How cute is he? Oh, the baby. Melted white chocolate. When you're filling a mold that's like really tall like this, you just wanna make sure that you're getting no bubbles and you're coating the entire thing. So I'm gonna squeeze some in. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. It, squish it. So then I can see, because I want to get all those little features, and then you can also take a skewer and mess around like this. I'm going to get this in the freezer to firm up, and then we'll squeeze them out. <laughs> okay, the horse is completely set up. Now we're going to pull it out. So I'm going to pull the mold away and not pull the chocolate, because then it will snap. It's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <gasps> the king almost died, and the queen would have taken over. Okay, now we're going to paint them. James, uh, cover your eyes, please. No! Look how nice and shiny. Go ahead, James. No. $20, $30. Um, let's make the horse gold too. <laughs> the knight. Because it's a knight shining armor. <laughs> the little guy. Yay. Now we've got to put our broken chess cake technique together. You'll see. This cake is so hard to explain. Cake is all stacked. For the next step, I'm going to create sort of this geode pattern. So where I have the marbly pattern, I'm going to paint that with confectioner's glaze and make it really shiny and then border it with gold and silver. And then after that, I will cut out my chess pieces and make this sort of whimsical broken chess game. Hey Joshua, want to hear some viewer comments while you work? Yeah. Viewer comment. A few episodes ago, we asked people to talk about their childhood memories of their crushes and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we got a lot of good answers. Diane Quintal. Hi, Diane. Said, oh God, I feel old. My first kiss with my first real boyfriend was in seventh grade at the roller rink. I'll be 40 next week. The nostalgia in this video is hitting hard. I had some roller rink times. That was, a, that was a common, common theme in some of these answers. I still do have roller rink time. <laughs> Speaking of, Rebecca uh, Elwell Hi, Rebecca. said, I met a guy at the Roller Night Lock-In. We dated, in quotation marks, for a month, never saw him again, and he broke up with me by telling a friend to tell my friend. Ah, middle school. Oh, that's such a bummer. All right, Hufflepunk Slitherclaw. <laughs> that's amazing. Hi, you. <laughs> said, nostalgic dating stories. I had a BF in grade four. We would pass notes, but never actually talk to each other. Never, ever. In a small school of 120 kids, he gave me a small beanie baby platypus, which I still have. I'm 32, and my two-year-old son is obsessed with it. That's sweet that you saved it. You know who I bet doesn't like it? Her husband. <laughs> Jasmine Foreman said, thinking about school relationships reminds me of sitting and waiting for them to sign in onto MSN Messenger after school. It wasn't official unless your screen name had their initials and a heart. I don't know that. Well, to age me, my thing was in college, the top five in... Uh, MySpace. MySpace. And my girlfriend at the time wanted to be number one and would be upset if any other girls were in my top five. Aww. Jennifer Seher said, My sister was given a diamond ring in kindergarten. Turned out to be the boy's mom's real ring. Oh my God. An exploding emoji, laughing, crying emoji. Did you give it back? <laughs> That was her first investment, apparently. And last but not least, Haley03. Hi, Haley. Said, when I was in first grade, I started dating a boy at breakfast. But at lunch, he threw a piece of food at me, so I told him it was over. 
<laughs> That's it. You guys crack me up. I really do read all the comments and they, they're the best. Our geode is complete. Now I'm going to roll out some black fondant really, really thin and cut out squares so we can build our broken up chessboard. Did you guys have a chess club when you were in school? Um, is that the room where you go in and just beat up everybody because they're nerds? We didn't, we didn't have a chess club. I feel like that's a thing that was like in the 50s and they don't exist anymore. I'm just kidding about the nerd thing. This is the kind of stuff that lives in my brain and I have no idea why. Guys, do you see now why it's so hard to describe what I was doing? Yeah, I believe that's what you would call checkmate. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. If you guys want the recipe for the American chocolate buttercream, it's down below or you can get it from our website, you'vebeendeserted.com. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm Joshua John Russell and you've been deserted. Hey, wait, 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 are you gonna show them my cake? I mean, it's lovely. I worked so hard on this. So I decided to panel it, even though I hate paneling, but it actually didn't take me quite as long. And then I finished it off with a rook with a little ball hat on top. I think it's beautiful, but we need to just talk about sanitation. Sanitation. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh... ooh, ooh, ooh.